Bar Stool Sports. Bar Titus. Brandon Walker. Mostly Sports. Welcome to Mostly Sports, presented by Jaegermeister. I'm Mark Titus. He's Brandon Walker. Today is Monday, March 25th. We are live from Chicago, and we want to talk to you about Jaegermeister. We want to talk to you about the 56 Botanicals. We want to talk to you about how great Jaegermeister is, but we especially want to talk to you about how you are drinking your Jaegermeister all wrong. You've been drinking it all wrong. How should we be drinking it, Brandon? Ice cold. Ice cold. Zero degrees Fahrenheit to be exact. Ice cold shots of Jägermeister. That's all they want to tell you. Drink your Jägermeister ice cold. You're doing it all wrong. I did it all wrong. I got to be honest. I was doing it all wrong for most of my life. And then I, I saw the ways. Ice cold? Ice cold shots. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's cold. Uh, wherever you're out, if you're hanging with friends or at the bar, or maybe you're doing all the sports stuff or just the mostly sports stuff, call the shots with Jägermeister. Cheers with frosty zero degree Fahrenheit shots of Jägermeister. Damn, that's cold. And remember to check out... Jägermeister at Jägermeister.com. Drink responsibly. Jägermeister, the core, 35% alcohol by volume. Imported by Mass Jägermeister, U.S. White Plains, New York. What do you want to talk about, Brandon? I would like to talk about the NC2A men's... I was, I wasn't cutting you off. Oh, okay. I was adding you, a little... You were little giving me background. Flavor, yeah. Okay. Just make it a little softer. Try it again. Try Just make it again. a little softer. That's all. Okay. All right. uh, what do you I, want to talk about, Brandon? Uh, okay. Hold on. I wasn't ready for the question. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Now ask the question again. What do you want to talk about, Brandon? I would like to talk about the <laughs> NC. That's distracting you? No, I actually um, made a mistake there. My, oh. my The back of my jaw clicked there for a second. Last time, we'll go. Whatever okay. whatever happens this time, we go. What do you want to talk about, Brandon? I would like to talk about the NCAA March Madness Basketball Tournament that is happening on CBS, TBS, TNT, and True TV. That was pretty good. That was a lot of nothing. Um... Yeah, let's talk about it. Sweet 16 is set. So everybody wants to, and I'm sure you fight this battle a lot, and maybe you fight on the other side that I'm about to say. Everybody wants, yes, I'm deathly <laughs> ill. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my best. Anyway, everybody wants to bitch and moan and complain. Oh, not enough upsets, not enough this. The Sweet 16 and Elite 8 that are set up before us look fantastic. Yeah. And what we found out is something that you floated a couple of weeks ago when we were going to this tournament, and I said, could be chaos, anybody could be anybody, and you said, but what if it's not? What if it's not? What if it's just all the good teams are all the good teams? I'm, I'm pretty sure I said, like, what if, like, NC State's the only double-digit seed that makes it to the Sweet 16? I don't, I don't think you I think said. I said something like that. And I said, what if the ACC What if Pat and Joey get $40,000? Yeah, I remember you Pat, saying yeah, that. Yeah. But you thought it was going to be for some, like, lawsuit or something or some sort of... <laughs> homosexual thing <laughs> yeah they did win didn't they They won the, the mm-hmm. busters yeah yeah uh anyway um so was i still yeah. talking <laughs> yeah uh sweet 16 is uh is set um people were saying that the the opening weekend was not good i guess uh the good teams are good the good teams are good but it is a little weird because this season that was not the case right throughout the regular season uh, we, we that was a talking point all season. Was that the top ten teams? Yeah, I think that was the stat that we all like fixated on. It was like when top ten teams went on the road against unranked teams, they lost at an alarming rate. They had a losing record. Yeah, it was. I it think was I think it ended up being a winning record. But yeah, for like most of the season, it was it was not good. Um, so we were like, man, look at the parity in the sport right now. It's crazy. Anything can happen. March is gonna be wild. And then the opening weekend was. Uh, I don't want to say it was a dud, but you can't. You can't have both, as it turns out. You can't have yeah. you can't have a banger. I guess the the best case scenario is like the Houston Texas A and M game, where it's thrilling, it's mm-hmm. exciting. There's a last second shot, but then you still get to see Houston move on to the Sweet 16. And now we get a Houston Duke matchup, which I'm really fired up about. Well, I think what stood out about this one was not only were there no upsets. The bigger key was there were no real near upsets. Right. There were there were no like. No Duke or North Carolina or anybody was ever really in trouble until Houston last night. Not a lot of sweating. And even the Houston one, yes, in the end they were yeah. shitting their pants a little bit. But they were up 12 with two minutes left, and it took like a miraculous comeback, which was exciting. I'm not saying it's not. But it wasn't like it wasn't like a back-and-forth affair. Marquette-Colorado was a great game. That was 
that was Colorado was close. a fun team to have. In Colorado the was really, really fun. Um, but yeah, the the top eight seed. I mean, Tennessee, Texas was close. Uh, I never really thought Tennessee was going to lose until no, kind of either. kind of the end. No, it kind of got interesting. I still felt like they were they were they was, felt like they controlled it, even though they were yeah. You know. Um, but yeah, what there there wasn't a lot of sweating from the top eight seeds, which uh is the exact opposite of what the regular season was because the top eight seeds were losing like crazy in the regular season. So talk for a second. Okay. <laughs> you know you could just like not come in. <laughs> <laughs> Should you go home? What? <laughs> How was What'd you say? I would have been a real asshole. Yeah, but... <laughs> you get sick. Say it again. Oh, Say that. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I could tell by your eyes you got another sneeze coming. You got the sun. <laughs> yes. He's right. Yes. I would have been a real asshole if you were doing your show at till one o'clock last night and Dan was doing his blog till five a.m. If I didn't show up today, so I I am I am here. Uh, I'm ready to really work. Really silence the haters now. <laughs> so fuck you haters. <laughs> fuck you haters. I'm here. We're gonna talk about Mr. Ed. We're gonna talk about Sydney Sweeney's titties. We're doing everything we always do. By the way, and I don't mean to tease anything that's coming up, but boys, I have a Mr. Ed update for you guys. Oh boy. I have a Mr. Ed's grave update for you boys. So that's coming in the second hour. <laughs> so just get ready, because what you think I'm going to say about Mr. Ed and his grave, mm -hmm. you have no idea. I can't wait. I actually <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. So I'm, I didn't tell yeah, you. Yeah, I didn't I'm, tell I you. Am actually and I just texted TJ about it as the show started at nine oh eight. I am excited right on time. To, uh, <laughs> I am excited to see where this goes. Uh, can I can I voice the frustration I have with with the tournament? You if can. People, I, I uh. Yes. It's the people that uh the the sweeping general the the people that are like the second weekend is better than the first or I, I, anybody that says that there's a definitive thing about the tournament a, a certain tournament is better than any other tournament or mm -hmm. basically what I'm saying is Every tournament's great, and di it's different. Th like different last ways. last year's tournament was awesome. We had the upsets. The final four was a little bizarre when you when you when the dust settled and we looked up. We're like, oh, those are the four teams. This is crazy. Yeah. Um, this year's tournament, it feels like it's not going to be that. Both of them are great. All the tournaments are great. If you want upsets and 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 chaos, yeah, you're right. That's that's what makes the tournament great. If you want awesome games between the best teams, the the teams that have demonstrated that they they are the best all season later in the tournament. That's great too. Um, it's weird that uh, you kind of have to like declare what you. I don't know. I just saw like people. Well, it's weird having to be saying, passionate about it one way or the other. It's weird. Yeah, like this this first weekend sucked, or like the the second setting up that the second weekend's better. Like here's the ideal tournament for me. It's uh, yeah. I don't know. That that that's always a weird thing that happens every tournament. Is as you you discuss like what you love out of the NCAA tournament and all of it's great. Well people saying great. people saying this tournament has been a dud, people saying this tournament has been bad. You are judging half the tournament. You're, yeah, you're there's you're a judging, lot you're, of you're making a declaration yeah. and we have a shit ton of basketball left. Shit ton of basketball. And, and how many of the buzzer beaters and the exciting finishes through the years have happened in the Sweet Sixteen Elite Eight range where you get the the evenly matched top top of the top. That's that we're set up for that right now. We're not set up to watch UConn play a 14 seed this week. We're yeah. not set up to watch Duke play a 12 seed this week. Um, but we're set up for 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 greatness, and you got to have patience, but trust that it will in fact come. I have a devil's advocate question. I would like to. Is your hand raised? Let's get in the picture. Oh. It's a promo picture. TJ was taking a picture behind the camera. Of okay. The set. All right. Did you, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I know I get distracted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How were you raising your hand? Yeah, I was just throwing V's up. Just throwing V's up. V's up. V's <laughs> up? Yeah, V's up. Why were you throwing V's up? Uh, for Max Villanova. V's up. Meow. Meow. This is V's up? This is peace. This is. This is. Yeah. Well, this then what's V's up? V? The one's V's up. I thought this. I thought USC does this. Don't they like. Fight on. What would be the best on. V? The Star Wars. Spread one. your legs. The Star Wars one. Like this. What's Star Wars? Star Wars is live long and uh, prosper? Come on, guys. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Star Wars. 
That's right. That's the best way. V's up. Mm -hmm. I love hand signs. For, Chewbacca. I love hand signs for colleges. <laughs> Arizona State. Arizona State does the shocker, right? We, uh, Big T taught me because I'm riding hard for Tennessee in this tournament just because I love yeah, Dalton it's VOL, so right? And he taught me that, and uh, I think it's kind of cool, but I also I don't know. This fucked me up. I didn't know. I didn't know Tennessee did that, uh, oh, and, and he explained it to me. But you're like you're stepping into another plane. It's it's, it's 3D. O L. Yeah, it's, the V's here. The, you have to turn and see to, the O. Yeah. But then you got to go around the O to get to the L. Yeah, you step into another dimension. Yeah. It's a little trippy for me to to do the vol thing. I get it, I guess. So, does Wichita State do the shocker? I don't know. Cuz they're they're the um <clears throat> Mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> right, and there's a joke here you can make about old Miss's hand sign, but you can't do it on camera. <laughs> You should make that joke, Brandon. <laughs> Do they have a hand sign? It was going to be like a racism thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. What is a racism hand sign? Uh, uh, Connor, you go first. I'm okay. <laughs> what, remember I'm they, okay. What, remember your, they tried to make this a white power? Do your interpretation of racist hand signs. Uh, yeah, that, that was funny. When <laughs> Charades? They, yeah, when, when it like was this the, was, the this game was where you put... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. We had a, there was like a, we had a guy do that just to get his friends. Wasn't and, there like a... That's the craziest game ever made. Don't look at the circle below my belt. Yeah. And then two for flinching modified. You ever played the two for flinching modified version? I remember there was there was like a guy that like had to issue an apology or yeah, something. Yeah, a guy like his was, career ended, I think. <laughs> he was doing this like behind a reporter on camera and everyone's like, holy fucking shit. Look at this guy. Racist. It's fucking Hitler. <laughs> huh, huh. I have a devil's advocate question I would like to ask. Now this might get you set on a twenty minute tirade. I will see. You would you would you, it sounds like you want me to do this. No, I don't. Go, I don't. But go ahead. But get I me, will ask. Fired this, up. I will ask this question because it is undeniable. Purdue has looked like a rolling ball of chainsaws these first two uh, these first yep. two games. They look great. Um, you know, beat a sixteen and then beat Utah State. So nothing really too impressive. However, they've looked great. So my question to you is: instead of us getting locked down in the ridiculous whistle that he and they they get. Instead of getting um, bogged down in how absolutely shitty and pathetic their fans are defending him and, and crying about it, should we appreciate Zach Eady being – he is a throwback. You don't see this type of basketball being played anymore. In the 80s, everybody had – or at least tried what to have doing? a back-to-the-basket big man. What are and you doing? He, I'm asking a question, a devil's advocate question. A, a devil's advocate question. Can I do that? What are you doing? Can I do that? You don't believe any of this. I don't. <laughs> That's why I call it devil's advocate. <laughs> but is there a world where if he didn't get a bat, uh, the whistle yeah. and he didn't get preferential treatment, is there a world where we kind of look at a guy like this and and enjoy it? That that in this world of, of, of threes and nothing else and, and yes. everything else, is there a world where there's a classic seven foot two back to the basket big man who's a throwback that we're like, damn, you don't see that anymore? Yeah, there is a world. It's a world where he doesn't shoot 11 free throws every game. There's a world where, um, yeah, I, I, it's it, it's a world where he has he has an arsenal of post moves, and uh, there's a little beauty to his game. Every so often, he'll catch it on the low block. He'll turn and face, yeah, and and hit a little bank shot. You know, he'll he'll jab step this way and drive this way. He'll do a spin move and dunk it. He'll yeah. baby hook, sky hook. All, there's, all there's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's, I think it's that world where you, where you see the, the, the skill on display. Um, yeah. I mean, I, 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 Purdue is very good. Yeah. Purdue is fucking rolling and they're, and they're, they're awesome. And I never said that they weren't. It's uh, the Zach Eady experience is, is not the most enjoyable thing to watch and yeah. that's not Edie's fault and that's not Purdue's fault they should keep dumping it into him he's, he's just like a he's a running back that if there's a running back that uh was dominating college football and he was averaging like three yards a carry and then every eighth carry they called a face mask yeah <laughs> and it was the most efficient player you'd ever seen but also you're watching this and you're like the longest carry he has this year is 16 yards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the longest carry. Uh, but also, we kind of have to give him the Heisman. But also, like, that that's kind of what Zach Nobody did. likes watching yeah, this guy. No, nobody wants to watch him. Ebo sprinted out of the room. And, yeah, uh, well. That is definitely a distraction. Does he, have to, does he have to shit? No, 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 no. I know what he's doing. 
I texted him and said, can you go get me some tissue, please? Oh. Uh, I apologize. Here we go. <laughs> Thank God that you came in, dude. This is... <laughs> this is what are we going to do with mostly sports is, with, uh, with, with, with Blutman? Huh? The show would be ruined if Brandon hadn't come in. So, thank God that you. <laughs> Blutman was a, a guy who was saying that this tournament sucked, right? Didn't he say yeah, that? Yeah, he's, say that. he's being a hater, yeah. But also. He was also mad that his hater. fake school lost. Uh, his yeah. fake school. If Purdue doesn't happen yesterday, if that's a closer game, and if JMU-Duke is a closer game, do you think there are this many people who have poop in their pants about wait, this wait, 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 wait. You're saying if. The opposite of what happened happened. Happened. No, I'm yeah. saying obviously Purdue was not even a contest from start to finish, mm -hmm. and then JMU Duke wasn't close. Well, no, Rico Rico pointed out that Utah State hung around for 12 minutes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but I'm saying, That's what you're saying if those games are it wasn't start to finish marginally closer. Do you think people have a vastly different interpretation? Uh, of the yeah, b maybe, but it's also it's not just those two. I mean, UConn looks absolutely. UConn was three for twenty five from the three point line and boat raced Northwestern. Like they, yeah. they UConn played a B B minus game for them and just destroyed Northwestern. Um, North Carolina ran away from Michigan State. Arizona, you know, Dayton pressed and made it kind of interesting, but um, the only reason they made it kind of interesting is because the rest of these games are are so dominant. Illinois beat the fuck out of Duquesne. That was you know I, I think it's just like across the board like the the top seeds are are dominating. Um, so yeah, but but yeah, I mean like yeah, if Purdue if Purdue was down six with four minutes to go, yes, that w we would be talking about this tournament a little differently. But um, they weren't. Is so. the past tense of sweat sweated or sweat? It's sweat, right? Uh, because the only teams that sweated sweat swat. Sweat. 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 I think just sweat. Just, just sweat? Yeah. Sweat. 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 Okay. The only teams that sweat this – this Houston sweat last night, mm -hmm. and Tennessee sweat a little bit. Yeah. And out of the top, what, 12 seeds? Out of the top 12 seeds, we had, what, 11 left? Kentucky's the only one out? Uh, Baylor. Baylor lost to Clemson. Oh, uh, yeah, Baylor was – yeah, they 10, were kind of trash anyway. Ten out of the 12, yeah. Do you, you sound – can I just point this out? I don't know if you hear yourself. You sound like – fucking dog shit <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying sorry i don't know if you're aware of this <laughs> <laughs> don't bring attention to it <laughs> anyway the reason why i was asking the question was just because i didn't see a whole lot of outrage until yesterday when yeah well i think well, I, yesterday yeah. was looked at as like the savior it yesterday to happen today the savior. Yeah. yesterday yeah. was gonna be the savior because you had jmu duke and it felt like jmu was a legit like JMU led wire to wire against Wisconsin. They they had beat Michigan State earlier in the year. Like it wasn't JMU was different than McNeese State. It was playing Mississippi University for women, and it, it JMU had the the credentials and it, and the feeling that they can compete. And for them to for your boys, Evo, that was, was buzz saw. That, that was, was buzz absolute buzz saw. Yeah, yeah. He uh, went to the woodshed and got double tapped. I think Colorado, there was promise that they could knock off Marquette, and they kind of demonstrated that. There was Texas A&M, same thing. So I think we were looking at the slate yesterday saying this might be the day the underdogs yeah. show up, and then they didn't. They didn't. Mm, no. None of them really won. But doesn't that, I feel like we've checked a lot of the boxes of, like, the fun moments of the tournament. Like, you've had a couple double-digit double upsets in the first round that are fun. Yeah. You had the guy that took over for a round and a half in Golki. Yeah. And then now you get the – like you're saying, like the classic games. Like you want to check all the boxes yeah. along the way for a good tournament. I think it's been a remarkable tournament for individual performances. Um, Golki was fun while it lasted, right? Jane Lede is incredible. Yeah, at San Diego State. I, I wrote. I wrote down all the guys. Um, oh, DJ Burns has been fantastic. Uh, Kuznard of, of Oregon had. Uh, yeah. Did he set a record for most points? Yeah, I think he or, scored in two games for or was it your first two games or something. I don't know. Oregon they, Creighton was the game of the tournament. College basketball is really good at adding all the qualifiers to stats and then putting them out there, and then you're like, and then letting Caitlin this, Clark just beat them anyway. <laughs> is this a good stat or not a good stat? I don't know. Um, but it, it's I thought Jermaine Kuznard like set the record for most points in his first two NCAA tournament games or something. Uh, yeah, they had were well, they had sixty combined him and Enfe or yeah, whatever Dante Dante. That that was calling him his first name now. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, Jaden Ladee's balling out for San Diego State. Oh, it's Ladee? 
Yeah, the D. Oh, I'm sorry. He's 25, Jermaine Cousard? Everybody's 25. Yeah. Everyone in college is Everyone in college is 25. The entire UNC starting lineup is 27 years old? Cormac Ryan's older, two years older than Connor? Yeah. 27? No, he's, he's 25, but it's still like... Yeah, I need... Anytime we talk about a player in this tournament, I need to know their age in relation to Connor Griffin <laughs> for context. Who was the same age as you? Four days older than you? Who? Golke. Golke is two days, two days older than me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you said that... Two days ago. Oh, shit. So now he's so, the same age. So now you should be in a position to go hit 10 threes against Kentucky. Because I'm the same age. You're now the yeah, same age yeah. he was. Two days ago. When he hit 10 threes against Kentucky. Okay. I, listen, I'll, I'll do whatever. Whoa. <laughs> How many shots would you need to hit 10 threes just in the empty gym? From my spot on the baseline? Oh, I didn't know you had a spot. Sorry. I got a spot. You got uh, a spot. Probably, yeah. From the baseline, I could go... Probably fifty percent. I I would need twenty. Corner three. Yeah. Connor and I played one on one last week, and I came. <laughs> so he cooked me. I no. I walked in. I I walked. I don't know where I was, but I walked on the court. The first move I see is Connor Griffin, either between the legs or spin move, finishing. You know, head fake, drop step, finishes with layup. I'm like, God damn! And then you call out, "All right, sixteen to two. Sixteen to yeah. <laughs> We played. We played to eleven. It was eleven nothing. Then I said, "Let's just keep playing until you score." And then Connor. Connor's got some old man to his gate. He's got some razzle. That was a very good old man. He's got some like throw the ball here, fake it here, uh, up under, back under, lay it in. Well, Uh, we were only doing three dribbles too, so yeah, it was. We had rules. Yeah, Yeah, three dribbles. Yeah, you three dribbles one on one. You can't just be out there dribbling around. Yeah, I need my mouth guard too. We'll, we'll do. We'll yeah, do he didn't have his mouth guard in, which I, I think made him a little more passive. Yeah, he was a little scared to get his. Why do you just always make sure you you circle back and make sure that you drop in the fact that you're a big nerd? <laughs> because my game was off. I, I I wasn't playing. Although Mark obviously is very very talented. I just Way told everybody game. about this incredible move. He he gave you a good compliment. Yeah. Oh my god, he uh, cooked he, me. If cook- you, if you just clip that up and and tweet it out, it's it's we made you made you sound cool as hell. It's humiliating for me and my family. <laughs> and and yet here you are at the end. I wish I had my mouth guard. <laughs> I just I want everybody to be safe out there on the basketball court. And I'm a <laughs> you wanted you want your you to be safe. Yes, but also if there are people out there who maybe have sensitive teeth or maybe they just Wait, got their braces off or something. Repre- and so if you can save one pair of teeth, <laughs> representation is important. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Representation is important. Wear a mouth guard. There's nothing wrong uh, with it. So you're, you think yeah. you're an advocate for the soft teeth community. There's a stigma around mouth guards, yeah. and I'm trying to eliminate the stigma. Yeah. Steph Curry wears a mouth guard. Exactly. So. Are you a hero of, of soft teeth boys? Some, some have said. Um. One of the uh, we we can move we can move on past the NCAA tournament. No, no, I got I one more to... thing about it. Okay. Um. So I wrote down you one go. sentence take for every region left. Okay. Okay. You... Well, actually, every region there is because, anyway, um, East. I wrote all four look great. This is going to be the best the best region going forward. UConn, San Diego State, Illinois, Iowa State. These are all four great looking teams. Obviously, UConn looks the best, but goddamn, Iowa State and Illinois both look really fucking good. Yeah, Iowa State, best defense in the country, according to Kim Palm, and Illinois has the best offense in the country. Yeah. Kim I want that to be uh, – I don't know how it would work, but uh, work, uh, Ebo, get your nerds working on this algorithm. I want Illinois to just have the ball for 40 minutes, and if Iowa State gets a stop, they get a point, one point, four points. What would be fair? Yeah. Um, what would be fair? If Iowa State gets a stop, they get the points. If Illinois scores, they obviously get the points that they score. And I just want to watch – Iowa State defense versus Illinois offense. A half court game. game. Just a half court game the entire time. That's what I would like to see. I would think like forty uh, percent of yeah. You get like forty percent of like two point two, so four, point four four points. Point whatever, four four points per or whatever their points per like one hundred possessions are. You only score one or two or three. I'm taking the averages of like three and two. What if you get fouled on three? You can you can score four. Okay, uh, in the West. Convince me North Carolina is not going to cruise to the Final Four. They've got Alabama, then Clemson, or Arizona. I think Arizona might be better than them. Well, good. You convinced me. <laughs> uh, in the South, I wrote down Duke. Oh, no, not this shit again. Now, I do think last night Houston surviving probably doomed Duke because they're going to make Filipowski cry. But 
I thought so when the bracket came out that I, I jumped ahead to the Sweet 16. I thought if Houston Duke play, Houston is going to eat Duke alive. Yeah. Uh, but Duke, that was the best they've looked all year against JMU. And it wasn't just that they were making shots and Jared McCain was red hot. Um, I think JMU was trying to rough them up and Duke was not rattled by it at all, yeah. even a little bit. But can JMU Absolutely. rough somebody up the way Houston can rough somebody up? No, but Duke is... Duke doesn't bring the fight to the basketball games, and I felt like they finally did against JMU. They brought the fight, and uh, if they can bring the fight, yeah, I don't know. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if Houston eats him alive, but I'm slowly talking myself into Duke now. Okay, it's happening. Oh no, not like you, the, like see, you not this down. shit again. Yeah, not this shit again. But I'm I'm back to slowly talking myself into Duke. Now in the uh, in the Midwest final region, uh, I just wrote look out for for Tennessee because I think they just won the game they could have lost. Yeah, and I think this is. I think they're going to take whatever four, whatever five days they've got right here. They're going to fix. You know, Connect hasn't been right in about two weeks. Yeah. Um. The rest of them, somebody needs to step up. But I think I would look out for Tennessee in this bracket. I don't know if I don't know if Tennessee is going to fix it or not. But this is why the game against Texas is why they got Dalton Connect. Um. Dalton Connect when he scores forty looks awesome and. You know that's that's the that's the exciting version of him, but his real value to this team is when they are playing like absolute dog shit and they just need a bucket here or there. And down the stretch, like he wasn't shooting awesome, but he was dunking. He was you know making some stuff happen on offense in a way that like Tennessee teams of the past would have just shit down their leg and gone like eight, nine minutes straight without scoring a point. And blown it against Texas. Uh, so the the thing that I'm fired up about, Brandon, is all these teams winning and winning pretty convincingly. Uh, you have a situation where Purdue fans are now convinced they're winning the national championship, yeah. and, and they're right to think that. I probably would be convinced of that as well. Uh, Duke fans convinced they're winning the national championship. UConn fans convinced they're winning the national championship. They're right. Yeah. Um, so I think UConn, I think Duke, I think Purdue – I think Arizona's won the national championship. I think North Carolina's won the national championship based on what I saw against Michigan How many State. teams do you have winning that? I think uh, Illinois yeah. beating the piss out of uh, Moorhead and then uh, doing the same to Duquesne. I think they're winning the national championship. Obviously, I have Iowa State is with that defense. Um, yeah, so now we're going into a Sweet 16 where not only – not only do we get to see the top teams, but we're seeing the top teams with, with supreme confidence, and that's going to make for fantastic theater because I would say Clemson fans know they're not winning. Right. I would say NC State fans know they're not winning at all, but also at this point you might as well talk yourself into it because the last team to win five straight in five days yeah. was UConn, and they won the national championship. So maybe NC State fans are like, why not us? Um but otherwise, I think like every other team, San Diego State fans probably. Yeah. If San Diego State beats UConn, San Diego State fans are like, we're 100% winning the national championship. At which point, they probably, they probably should believe that. Yeah. Um, but that makes it awesome because it's not. not Alabama only, fans think they're winning the national championship, by the way. Yeah. Every It feels like every team thinks like we're, we are good enough to get this done. And they're kind of right. Like most of them are. Like I think Gonzaga, Gonzaga is a very difficult path playing Purdue and then the winner of Creighton, Tennessee, and then whoever comes out of the South, you know, like it's it's going to be brutal for the next four games for Gonzaga. But I think Gonzaga could do it. Um, is this tournament setting a record for most national champions? Yeah, I think so. I think we're, we're going to see the most national champions of all time in this tournament. Uh, actually, that's not true. 2020 has the most national champions. Everybody won the national championship in 2020. Dayton won it. Kansas won it. But did Michigan every, State but won did it. Everybody Florida lose. State won it. No, no, no. That's the way they talk about it is we won the national championship. Um, All those teams won it, yeah. What do you think the chance of getting a perfect bracket is, R? R is? What do you think the chance of getting a perfect bracket is? It is 1 in 120.2 billion mm. speaking of brackets i gotta note that uh, okay. wrote an asterisk so i can remember to say this for the rest of us instead of not watching our bra after our bracket is busted why not be rewarded for it this march when you lose you win at dave and busters throughout the tournament we're washing away your sorrows with two dollar beers terms and conditions apply anyone whose bracket has been busted can DM Dave and Buster's with a picture of their bracket across social media handles. In reward, Dave and Buster's will be giving away one million chips of free gameplay while supplies last. Terms and conditions apply. But hurry, all chips will be given away and must be redeemed at your local Dave and Buster's before the tournament ends. 
Come to Dave and Buster's for $2 beers all tournament long and DM your busted bracket to Dave and Buster's for free game play while supplies last. Terms and conditions apply. Is it Kim Mulkey Day? Oh, oh. God damn you. <laughs> what? I had one more little point to make before we celebrated Mulkey Watch 2024. What was okay? Oh, sorry. In our in our um in our little in family bracket. Right? There's one there's one dude that just fucking sucked. Absolute and I want to face him. I want you to bring him to me. I want to look him in his eyes and tell him how terrible. Okay, he is. first of all, the, the tournament's long, long way to go. Uh, I'm looking. Uh, you're, you're you're talking shit about Moses. Um, <laughs> well, I'm ahead of him. First of all, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> Moses was fed bad information about Kansas that doomed him. Um, uh, he didn't know Bill Self was was out was done was looking was forward was to looking forward to next year. He didn't know that Kevin McCullough was not going to play in the tournament. Uh, secondly, I can't help but notice that. Go back, TJ. Um, <laughs> He's going to beat me. Yes. Moses is trailing you by five points, and his national champion mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is still very much in the mix, whereas your national champion lost to a 14 seed in the first round. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Lost to a guy who is two days older than Connor Griffin and shoots nothing but three-pointers. I don't see the point. What I Jack Golke, by the way, 42 minutes off the bench. That guy is – he might have just become my favorite player of all time. Yeah. This weekend. I, I like the he fact only that shoots threes. He yeah, does I, nothing else. I like the fact that he knows exactly who and what he is. Zero passes. He does not he zero <laughs> assists. <Yeah. laughs> zero. He also only moved when it was going to result in him getting a three, right? <laughs> like he would just stand there and then he realized, all right, the ball is exactly where it needs to be. I, my literally, time. He, he literally does one thing. Yeah. And, and you say that about a lot of players, uh, but he he is he is as one dimensional as a as a basketball player gets. He does one thing, and he came off the bench against NC State and played 42 minutes. Yeah. He doesn't start, but they bring him off the bench as, like, a surprise or something. Like, <laughs> he plays like, every minute after Like, that. NC State wasn't going to be ready for them. <laughs> they got in 10 threes in the game. Like, when they went out, the starting five went out there. They looked to the coach. Coach, he ain't out here. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. We're good now. Um, um, there's a lot of discourse about if he'll get a shot in the NBA. No, he no, won't. He he won't. won't. Which is just the casual basketball fans being like, well, this guy hits a lot of threes. Yeah. I bet you they should probably draft him and put him on a team. A lot of Duncan Robinson he can't. comparison. Yeah. He, he, this is a credit to him. He couldn't really separate and get a whole lot of open shots. He does have a little, you know, he has a little pump fake game and all that. But that didn't deter him from absolutely just launching. And, yeah, also – if you only look at his makes, you would say, yes, he should go to the NBA. Yeah. If you look at his misses, you realize that if he did that on an NBA court and you airballed like two in a row with hand in your face as you're fading away, your ass would be thrown on the bench immediately. Yeah. And you would not get a chance to shoot 15 threes. <laughs> um, but, no, he was he was awesome, and uh, I will miss him dearly. Um, Connor, it, did you raise your hand? No, no, no. I was just going to say that it was electric to watch him, and it was fun, and I enjoyed it a lot. And that that game was very fun, but that's it. Like you're not going to see him again, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Not to get somber, but you, you said that it was like it was a guarantee. Is he dying? Yeah, you said no. that it was a guarantee. You're like, I will see to it that you will never see this guy again. <laughs> well, also, like I, no, that was I think about him now. I, mean, like, I hope you, you know, enjoyed yeah. Golki. I yeah. yeah. Hope you enjoy Golki, <laughs> folks, because you're never going to see him again. <laughs> no. I swear on my family's <laughs> yeah. honor, you will never see this motherfucker yeah. again. I'll do whatever it takes. To make sure you never see him. <laughs> I did not mean that. Brandon called on me, but I, yeah, I was not gonna. He's getting Shoot. the bag. Um, yeah, he, he was. I saw him. Uh, he, he was had, doing. Yeah, he had like five or six yeah. ad deals somehow between the first. Yeah, yeah. He put him yeah. one with us. So. Yeah. The shirt is awesome. Yeah, we put out merch for him. That's incredible. That's the best part of nil is that that we can make that happen. Yeah. So fast. Um, it's great. I'd like to call attention to this giant uh, stack of boxes. Opening day. Just three days away. Three days away from opening day. Uh, Thursday, March 28th. I guess you probably still have time if you want to uh, if you want to invest in, and do like overnight delivery or second day or whatever. Um, just DM Ebo or TJ and they'll give you the address. The address. The address? Mm -hmm. The address. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh... Is it Kim Mulkey Day? It's Kim Mulkey Day. Do this, you think we're getting the story today? This is going to be so delicious. I've not. I am. Okay. 
this is a colossal battle because it's Kim Mulkey, who what? Sucks. Against, like, old mainstream media, which kind of... Sucks. So, it's a battle of the titans, and I would normally uh, side with the person who's being the hit piece on because I'm like, I don't know. this this uh, But that press conference Kim Mulkey gave the other day about this pending Washington Post article, hit piece if you want to call it that, um, was absolutely batshit insane crazy nuts. <laughs> she... She sat there and she said, well, let, let me tell you something. He, this guy called me and he sent me a list of questions. And then he said, I only had two days to answer these 12 questions. Uh, Kim, that's plenty of goddamn time. Yeah. That's, this isn't like, I know Dave Portnoy in the past has had these bullshit hit pieces written about him. And he's shown evidence that, that somebody will write him and say, we answer these questions. We're publishing in six hours. Yeah. That's different. She, she had two days. And then she said, and, and this guy's been pestering me for two years. You okay. kind of had two years to talk to him. Two years, we haven't come up with a better plan than just rant incoherently at a press conference? Like, I I don't know what's coming. I don't know if it's just Kim Mulkey's a bad person. I don't know if it's Kim Mulkey said bad words. I don't know if it's Kim, whatever. I don't know what's coming, but she looks guilty as fuck to me. Yeah, I thought uh, when we first heard of a story coming, I wasn't sure whether it was going to be juicy or not because it could just be as simple as, like, yeah. I don't know. She she has an opinion that's different or something. I don't know. And it's like, all right. Well, I don't. I don't. I, well, you know, I, she she voted for this guy this one time, and mm -hmm. we're just like, all right. That's your story. That was your. That was the whole point of you writing the story for two years. Uh, but her doing the press conference tells me it's it's going to be something awesome. Yeah, it's going to be something like the fact that she went on the defensive uh, poorly, very poorly. Yeah, uh, tells me it's going to be awesome. But here's the question I have, because since you're so, since you're such a fan of being a devil's advocate, mm -hmm. I'm gonna devil's advocate you. You don't believe this. What if it's not awesome? What if the story doesn't even come out? What if what if it is stupid? What if it's like Mark? What if it's like I went through I went through Kim Mulkey's tweets and she never once tweeted support for the writer strike in Hollywood or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story. Yeah. And we're just like, what the fuck? That's it? Kim Mulkey only has six vaxes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I can't think like that. In a world where I believe I and the show are preeminent Kim Mulkey haters, I can't let thoughts like Kim Mulkey's a decent person and this is going to be a nothing burger into my head. I cannot do that. She's not a decent person. No matter no, 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 Whether the story comes out or not. But I can't let person. any of that get into my head. She's the awful. The second I start to think this hit piece isn't going to be awesome, the second I start to think this she isn't going to be turn out to be a monster is is when she wins. What okay? if the hit piece is just Kim Mulkey suh... <laughs> I'd read the that. Just, just hits the letter U and just holds it sucks. <laughs> Free retweet from us. Because here's the thing. <laughs> and and watching the limited women's basketball I've watched, I know one thing. Kim Mulkey sucks. <laughs> she sucks. She's the worst. Did you see her face squeeze somebody? Yeah, it was just like yeah, that was a real Coach K moment. Yeah, yeah. she sucks. The, the, she's never done. I I I said this before. She's she's never done anything. Literally nothing. I've never once heard Kim any words come out of Kim Mulkey's mouth. I've never once seen her do anything where I was like, listen, I hate her, but like she's got a point there. Or I hate her, but yeah. I actually think I actually think people that are piling on here are overreacting. Yeah. <laughs> Everything she does is terrible. She's awful. She sucks, man. She sucks. And I, I, I hope uh I hope this is her downfall. Unfortunately, I think it's going to work the exact opposite way, and she's just going to be emboldened by this. And can LS I? Uh, LSU is going to circle the wagons. I think, as Pat Forty said, is going to happen. There's can I say an extremely circling the wagons? Uh, sexist and backwards rant, real quick. Uh, sure. I guess you don't seem convinced. Can I be sexist and backward for a second? Uh, Can I possibly get this yeah, show go canceled? Ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Caitlin Clark. Ooh. Huh. That's pretty controversial. Huh. That is. No, no, no. You sure no, you want to no, 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 say that? That seems, hear me out. Hear me hold out. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Hear, that is. Hear me out. Whoa. Cut that. Hear me <laughs> out. Cut that in post. Hear me Yikes. out. Yikes. Caitlin Clark. Mm. 
I can't. I can't. Caitlin listen, Clark's can't out of her listen. goddamn mind. She's out of her goddamn mind. When she said the other day, the women's tournament has more juice than the men's tournament. The women's tournament has a lot of juice, and it's got stars, and it's got villains, and it's got the most activities, it, the most eyeballs it's ever had. But we're still sitting up at eleven o'clock at night, sweating out San Diego State. And yeah, we're yeah. still, we're still, we're still. We didn't print out the women's bracket today. We printed out the men's bracket. Like, like millions of these are done throughout the country. Yeah. And now, is the women's game better right now than the men's game? That might be true, but I don't think it has passed men's basketball in notoriety or eyeballs. You don't need to think it. It it, it definitively has not. Right. Whether whether yeah. <laughs> it hasn't. Uh I don't understand why why it's not just her. It does feel like a lot of people it, it's, badly it's a want a growing movement, yeah. But why? Why why are they pitted against each other? Why do I'm just I'm gonna play the victim here for a second if you tell <laughs> me. Um as a college basketball guy. Yeah. Why does it feel like people so badly want college basketball to fail? Why why is it that the basketball community so badly wants college basketball to fail? That the NBA fans Want nothing more than college basketball to go away. It's it's unwatchable. Adam yeah. Silver starts the G League Ignite team to kill college basketball. He realizes that's a bad idea. He walks that back. Uh, so then I guess for now we're pivoting to women's basketball, which like I like, and I don't really see what the competition is. Like yeah. it's 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 all basketball. I thought, mm -hmm. and now suddenly it's like, well, let's use women's basketball to take down men's basketball. Let's use the NBA to take down some men's basketball. Why can't we just be like, I love basketball. March Madness fucking rules. When March Madness is over, I will pivot to the NBA playoffs, which also fucking rule. Also, the women's tournament kind of fucking rules. Basketball rules. We get the Olympics this summer. That fucking rules. Basketball rules. This is all awesome. I love it all. It's like, what what can we use to take down men's college basketball? I don't understand. Well, it is bizarre. Why don't we look at women's and men's college basketball as the state of college basketball as a whole? Yeah. Why don't we look at like like when we're talking college basketball, it's men's, it's women's, and everything's everything's okay, everything's yeah. all right. Instead, we do say, um, you know, and we try to insult the men's game by complimenting the women's game and, and vice versa. But, and vice versa, yeah. And then there are other people that are like, well, the women's boring as hell, and yeah. men's is the best. Yeah, it's now you've always maddening. been a women's hockey guy. I am a women's hockey guy. I, I go to a women's hockey school. I go to a, a or I, I graduated from a women's hockey school. Um, are they in the NCAA tournament this year? We have a dynasty. The the Ohio State women, yeah, the the not, any, not anymore. Women's we, hockey team. We just won the national championship, so oh, the tournament's over. That. Yeah, so yeah. we're not anymore. Actually, nobody's in the tournament anymore because because it doesn't exist. We won the national championship. Dynasty is what they're saying. Two and three years. I I don't think that's same a, number of that's not dynastic. Super Bowls in the last three years that the Chiefs have won, and everyone's saying the Chiefs are a dynasty. All right, what is a dynasty? I, it's, <laughs> three is a dynasty, right? Uh, three oh, uh, three in less than like seven or eight years is a dynasty. Is it three and five? Is that a dynasty? Dynasty to me is, yeah, I don't know. It it feels, I, I don't know if I can really it. has it. It, it's, it has to feel like a dynasty, right? It's like porn. I can tell you when I see it, but mm -hmm. I don't know how to actually define it. What's two? You, well, hold, hold on real quick. You, you, you can't define porn? Well, what's porn? Naked parts? N naked, so, so just see, seeing some nip? That's porn, right? A nip slips porn? Is a nip slip porn? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brandon is dying. Again, thank you so much for braving your illness. And, yeah, you're uh, probably hosting the rundown because I'm probably leaving. Uh, yeah, this is... Um, Dave and Busters. Uh, where are we at? You and Ed. I'll Go talk ahead. about wall. Thank you. This segment is brought to you by wall. Cutting your hair at home isn't as hard as you think. Give your first DIY haircut the old college try with help from wall. Wall is the brand used by professionals and has been in business for over 100 years. Being confident in your hairstyle is empowering. Guards aren't just for on the court. The Color Pro Cordless Clipper is your styling MVP with an array of easy-to-see attachment guards, ensuring you can easily score the perfect haircut link. Color Pro Cordless is rechargeable and wireless, which allows you to use the clipper on the go or when it's charging because looking sharp, should be a slam dunk by the wall cordless color pro today wall 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 we have uh who we got show me some hairs back to the family region the family Ooh. region oh that's us yeah we got a final huh huh okay uh huh <sighs> yeah. 
I think I like TJ's volume. I do too. Definitely a lot. TJ, you take your hat. If you took your hat off, does it poof up? No, that was just after not getting a haircut. I hope. I hope TJ takes what I'm about to say as a compliment. Probably not. Fat. I forgot about Fat TJ, and every time you remind me of Fat TJ, I'm like, oh, TJ was fat. Yeah. (laughs) But I guess that's a good reminder for you. (laughs) TJ, uh, compliment? Uh, Yeah, thank Uh, you. Thank you, Brandon. Because you're no longer fat. (laughs) It's the nicest thing anyone said to (laughs) you. But you weren't that fat. Yeah, I was. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I mean. Was that the compliment? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think that might be the nicest thing he's ever said to you. Too. You weren't that, that fat. Like, you were fat. You were fat. Yeah, sure. <laughs> right. That's you the compliment. You weren't like super fat. So that means did my you, air is good. Did you have to? <laughs> did you ever walk sideways when you walked? Was was any part of your body like? Because I think that's really the mark of super fat. Is like if if you're walking and all your body is going forward. Yeah. You're good. But if you have a little bit of uh, yeah, <laughs> if you have to get some if some. You're, if you well, have to you get physics sideways, involved to your walk. Yeah. You got lateral movement on it your walk. Momentum. Right. Yeah. So the the gravitational pull. You never had that, right? I don't think I ever waddled, no. Yeah, so you're fine. Um I have two I have I have two clips, two things to watch. Uh number one, I guess I could just we could just do the Mr. Ed thing now. Okay. You guys are good doing the Mr. Ed thing now? Um I had a big game boomer in here on Saturday. Big game boomer, the guy that uh, gave me the yeah. I hated that I met him. That's <laughs> nice guy, whatever. But like, I, that was a super real, nice guy. That was I was I looked at you didn't want to go behind the curtain. I looked at the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, and he's just he's just a normal dude talking into a <laughs> megaphone. Yeah. Uh, so he was here and he told me the name of the place uh, where Mr. Ed's grave is is Tahlequah, Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Tahlequah. We've been saying in Telequa or something like that. Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Now. I don't know why, but I Googled. I do know why. I do this every Monday just to see if there's any new Mr. Ed news out there. Um, I found this about Mr. Ed's grave. Uh, can you bring up the video I sent you? Yep. And go to about 1220 and start at 1220. Okay. Because the first 1220 are, are irrelevant to this point I'm making right now. And you got to decide if you're willing to go gritty on this horse's grave after watching this. Ed will never speak unless he has something to say. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Right. And this one will talk till his voice is hoarse. Sure. Now, believe it or not, there is actually a Mr. Ed ghost story. Back in 1990, after they placed the monument in this field in Oklahoma, patrons of a local diner witnessed his ghost. Uh, They say the place had just closed and the people were standing around the parking lot. The sky was black and threatening rain. Suddenly there was a blinding flash of lightning and a deafening crash of thunder. Then we heard it. It was unmistakably the Mr. Ed theme song. (laughs) Next we heard what sounded like galloping in the distance. The clouds parted a bit and we saw this glowing figure of a running horse. It was Mr. Ed, but he looked different from TV. He was glowing and he appeared to have golden hooves. (laughs) They heard the unmistakable voice of Mr. Ed as they heard so many times on TV. I want to thank all the good people who placed that magnificent granite monument on my grave. And I want to give my best to my old sidekick, Wilbur, and all my loyal fans. said all this? Tell them I run in green pastures in heaven, and I'm happy as a horse can be. Thank you very much for watching. (laughs) Now, uh, now, now, couple things. Um... Are you still willing to gritty on a haunted grave? I was never I never wanted to. I I have to do it. Oh uh, yeah, I have but to do it. But are you going to gritty on a haunted grave? I have to. What if There's no The there's second no you alter- get you, second you start to gritty, the sky's darken, lightning and thunder. Then all I I would just hope you guys tell my story. That's all I could hope. I mean, that's that's my fate. I mean, I have to gritty on this grave. I have to do it. Now, I have to <laughs> I have, I have to, to do it. I have to sniff a little kizzy here. Okay? Because the story they tell of the Mr. Ed haunting was that the skies darkened, there was lightning, there was thunder, and all of a sudden you see a figure of of a horse go across the sky, and he's got golden hoofs. All that's fine, but then Mr. Ed spoke to him. So my thing is, if it's if Mr. Ed's a ghost, Mr. Ed didn't actually talk. So did the man who voiced Mr. Ed have to be dead? Was that actually? 
Was there two ghosts at play here? Wait, Mr. Ed didn't talk? That's the misconception. People think Mr. Ed talked. That was just that was just a horse moving his lips and a man's voice over the top of it. So the ghost of Mr. Ed shouldn't have a voice because that was an actor. So it was this double ghost it was this double ghost what action. What are you talking about, dude? You're you're fucking rambling nonsense right now. Mr. Ed <laughs> God Jesus. Mr. Ed talked. And he played baseball. I doubt a horse played baseball, first of all. Like you, Secondly, what are you talking about? That, that that was a man's voice over top of Mr. Was, Ed's. And how could how could a ghost's appearance be accompanied by music? I don't know. That's a how that happened. That's an incredible story. Uh, I am terrified. Yeah, I'm gonna gritty on his grave, and I'm gonna have to deal with the ghost of Mr. Ed. But it seems like it's a pleasant ghost if he's saying, "I'm happy." Yeah, I, now. But what if when he what he's not gonna like getting his grave? He might join. Maybe he gritty. will. Yeah, that's true. What if Mr. Ed's ghost comes out there and he's gritty <laughs> with me? The gritty didn't exist in 1970 when he died. So what if that's the secret that unlocks the Mr. Ed curse, or the Mr. Ed revival? What if that brings him back? What if he's been waiting? You think all he could be years? a Jesus horse? What, and, yeah. What if he is cursed? Great point, TJ. What yeah. if? What if you swap souls and then you become? And he has to the 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 witch that cursed him said like right. that's how how could he talk, Brandon? He had to. Have, Where was there a witch? Okay, there was a witch. This is this is. <laughs> There's canon. not a witch in the Mr. Ed canon. This is canon. How do you think he got the ability to talk? He just had it. No, dude. A witch gave it to him, but the <laughs> the the catch was. The time will come where you will die, and you 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 are, you are in a mortal body, and the only way you can live eternally is if someone gritties on your grave. <laughs> Gritty didn't cat. exist at the time. I know, but and then that's why it was so confusing. That's why he died, yeah. and that's why no, that's why he's been dead. So he didn't know what. Nobody even knows what the gritty was. He's he, like, what the fuck is that? That could have been anything. Could have been anything. It's like Avatar. Yeah, exactly. He's frozen in ice for a hundred years. Mm -hmm. You're thinking of Encino Man. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're thinking of Encino Man. <laughs> you're thinking of <laughs> Brendan Fraser, the film Encino Man. I was thinking of Brendan Fraser. <laughs> uh, yeah, what if? What if I unlock? What if Mr. Ed and I are just best friends? What if I gritty on his grave? Well, first Brandon's of all, off the show if you and Mr. Ed are best I friends. I don't yeah. think you will be because he's been dead for 54 years. Until I revive him, dude. Try to keep up here. <laughs> like, I'm going to gritty and he's going to. Brendan, you're hearing, but you're not listening. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> So let me, I'm going to paint this picture based on the picture you're painting. You're saying it's possible that two days, let's say you do it on Saturday, you gritty on his grave. It's possible that on Mon that Monday morning, I'm sitting here getting ready and you on, on a saddle on top of Mr. Ed just walks in here. Yeah. I don't, well, I wouldn't ride him. That'd be disrespectful. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll come in together. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's just get this out of the way right now. Would he be a couch boy or would he take my seat? You take your seat. I mean, you'd have to, right? Yeah. I don't think there's room back here for a horse. You think we, there's room on this couch for a horse? I, I think it a better a chance on the couch than over here. We'd make it work. Are yeah. you against riding your best friends? <laughs> come on, Mark. <laughs> think about it. It's a great question. If, Ride brand. If I could... If Brandon offered piggyback rides around the office, would I take him up on it? At any, I think I'd have to. I think I'd have to. Why don't you? I, I just wouldn't. I think. I think looking at Mister Ed and saying, "Oh, great, this is a guy who can just take me around now," I think that's devaluing what he brings to the table. I think. I think friendship is more important to me than just a a vessel to to transport me places. You know, I don't want. I don't want to objectify him in that way. But yeah, I would ride him absolutely. If he if it, if it made him happy, if he was like, "I want you to ride me," then I would ride him all day. <sighs> I mean, I'm not saying you can't ride me. I'm not going to rule it out. But I I don't feel like getting ridden ridden right now. Or I don't know if I'll be able you, to be uh, ridden in the future. When, you, when your kids were little, were you a big uh, oh yeah on the shoulders guy and piggyback oh, guy and all that? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What age is that? Is it, does that stop? Oh, uh, probably about six. Six or seven. They get too heavy. I get big kids, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so, we All have right, a haunted well, Mr. Ed. There's a new development. I think I want to knock that out pretty quickly. I think that's like a May or June thing. Okay. Um, I was always going to wait till after college basketball season. Yeah. Actually, I wasn't. I was going to go to an Arkansas game. I think that and was then they sucked. Plan, and then they sucked. Uh, but, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do that in May or June, I think. We'll make that happen. In Temecula, Oklahoma? Tahlequah. Tahlequah? Tahlequah. Yeah. It's on the very 
It's it's almost in Arkansas, I think. It's 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 on the eastern side. Okay. Not a lot of people on the eastern side of Oklahoma, you know. When's the College World Series? That was another thing we talked about, but then we looked it up and it's not even close. No, it's right? like seven hours. Seven away. hour drive. Seven That's in either. June. That's stupid. The end of so. June. You can go to the women's college world series for softball. Where's that's in Tulsa? It's in Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City? We're coming. To your city. city. Everyone on a dang in my dang. Hey, did you get any ying and your ying yang this weekend? No, no. There was none of that. <laughs> <laughs> um and my second clip. We um at a WWE house show this weekend. Well, just just find it and play it. I didn't even I didn't send you a clip of this, but uh there was an event. There was a uh they brought back something that we've talked about before on the show, and I'd like to get your thoughts about the bringing back of of this particular wrestling maneuver. Uh it hasn't been seen in about 20 years. Um and now it's it's back. It's in a different form now, and I I'd, I'd like to get your thoughts on Can I guess? Have I not told you yet? No, but you can guess. Something with the dick. No, 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 no. It's okay. not dick related. Okay, not dick related. Not dick related okay. at all. Okay. Why was that your guess? What what what's <laughs> what wrestling maneuver has something to do with a dick? The one the there's like a Japanese wrestler that like yeah. used his, his a guy grabbed his dick and then like he was just kind of No, that's that's an Americanist, Joey Ryan. It's it's I don't think he's around. Oh, so you seems like you know a lot about this maneuver that you said I know his literally five I know his ago. dick though. I was thinking about like attitude era dick. There were no dick moves in the attitude era uh, outside the Bronco Buster. Uh what about Edge and Lita? That was a dick move. Literally. <laughs> uh Think about that, Brandon. Okay, play the clip. I want to see what There might be a dick move after you watch this clip. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rhea Ripley. She brought, oh, she brought back mean, the stink face. <laughs> incredible. But also not that far off from what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so that's back. But that's now, awesome. now it's a woman. Yeah. And now she's she's doing it. <laughs> and uh I would, dude. If I wrestled her and she did that to me, I would be so mad. <laughs> oh no! Don't make me tap. So, oh no! Not again. <laughs> so, so that was Saturday, or maybe Friday or Saturday. And then last night they had a show, and the person she wrestled was Shayna Baszler. And when they rang the bell, Shayna backed up, sat down in the corner, and said, "Please do it to me." Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do. <laughs> Oh. Please, this is, yeah. <laughs> I like this. I like this girl. What's her name? Rhea Ripley. No, the girl that was that's like, Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler. Yeah. That's uh, that's that's what I would do if I was wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Here we go. Uh, it's gonna happen go anyway. Ahead, hit the finisher. <laughs> Just get right to it. <laughs> uh, uh, what uh? What else is is happening in the non basketball world? What what have we missed in the sports world? As I've been locked in a cave watching basketball for four straight days, golf, hockey, uh, baseball is almost happening. That's obviously opening. Are the Dodgers and Padres? Whoa, 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 How many whoa, games whoa, they play? whoa, 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 whoa! Is baseball calling their thing opening day too? Yeah, they're yeah. When uh, are the Dodgers and and Padres still playing? No, no they played two. Uh, they, they, play, played they only two. played two. Yeah, that was, that was it. As you as you do, you know. So Otani's going to speak today, mm -hmm. which is kind of brilliant because he doesn't have a translator. Yeah, his translator's gone. So he could just say whatever he wants to say. Yeah, he can do the. And none of us are smart enough to figure. Do you think Otani's fluent in English and he's just doing like a a Sammy Sosa in front of Congress thing where he's pretending like he doesn't know English because it's convenient for him? Like, cause th th he had a, he has like married right? Like he has like a wife or a girlfriend. She's Chinese whatever. though, isn't she? No, or not not Chinese, Japanese. Excuse me, Japanese. Um. But yeah, he kept that private forever. He yeah. named his dog Decoy. People forget that. I didn't Does know he named his dog. I remember them uh, wondering what the dog's name was. It was Decoy. It's dude. Decoy. That's a what kind of dog? Makes name you is think decoy? now, doesn't it, Brandon? Doesn't it? Huh. Does it make you think, Brandon? He he named huh. his dog Decoy, Brandon. Huh. And why would he name his dog Decoy? Because. Why? Because he's decoying. Uh, I don't know. I actually haven't yeah. thought all that. Like, <laughs> right. It just doesn't really make like sense a... that the dog's name would be decoy. No, the the translator's the decoy as well. 
Yeah. So did he name the translator decoy? Maybe. What's the translator of dog? Maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of mystery around Shohei Otani, and uh, that would be wild to me as if he came out and did this press conference and he just speaks perfect English. It, it would be funny if he <laughs> comes like, out. I've known English my whole life. If he I comes guess. out of this press conference and he has a dog beside him and all the press can talk about is the dog, mm-hmm. then decoy would have done his job. Would you, if you were if you were a superstar athlete and you went to Japan and you were fluent in Japanese, yeah. um, would you let them know that? No, I feel like I wouldn't. No. I feel like if I was Otani and I was, in fact, fluent in English, I would keep that a secret. Learning a secret would language be... would be an incredible skill. Yeah. Because I've long wanted to just be sitting in a Mexican restaurant, and when they're talking to each other, I want to know what they're saying about But they don't know that you know. Right. Yeah. That's why I have my wife. Yeah. But she's too good of a person. She'll never tell me. She'll that never they're... eavesdrop. And... Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I like to not have to deal with the media – That'd be so cool. I, I want to do. I want to just like not learn English in general. I want to like walk. And you around. could just get your boy to be your translator. Yeah, he just gets paid to be. Dude, a imagine manager. just like working at this office and walking and like people come up and talk to you and you're just like, I, I, <laughs> I, don't, I got nothing. I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't speak English. Just break so, down the gritty. So, yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, he's supposed to talk today though. He's yeah, I think like so. A, he's doing like a press conference. Mm-hmm. What's I feel like the the funniest outcome is that. He was just like a big Horizon League basketball fan, <laughs> yeah. and he was betting on you know Valpo or something at one point. Yeah, what what yeah. what was he betting on? Do we know at all? Because him coming over and just betting, yeah, betting niche American sports that he has no idea about is yeah. very funny. I saw people saying that Otani is he's never shown an interest in. They were saying this as though it was. Uh, an argument for him not being the one gambling and it was his translator was that Otani has zero interest in any other sport. He's purely a baseball guy. Um, so it couldn't have been him gambling because he's not interested in any other sport. Um, yeah. But when I read that, I was like, so he just gambles on baseball, which is an actual problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> was that, I don't know. It's, 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 it, it feels like it's a massive story, but also as we said, when yeah. we first talked about it, it might just be a guy betting on Horizon League basketball. But games. you, you also it's not know a story at all. that baseball and Rob Manfred, who I don't know how good of a commissioner he is, he just has no interest in punishing this guy whatsoever. No. So it'll have to be like uncovered no. by somebody. It'll have to be uncovered by somebody else. Yeah. And then their their hand will have to be forced because he has no interest in punishing this guy. Yeah. Some the sports journalists will actually have to do journalism. And I don't really know if they're tied up with Kim Mulkey right now. Yeah, I don't know if they wanted. And I would rather, I'd rather them work on Kim Mulkey than this. Yeah, I same. same. Yeah, I don't want. I don't. I don't yeah. need to put all our brain power. Honestly, that. if you told me Shohei Otani was betting on baseball, I would identify that as actually being bad. But I wouldn't really be out. You could put a just... betting kiosk on the mound beside him. Yeah, and I would be fine. Yeah, I would. I would. I would. My brain would be like, that's obviously not good. And. Mm-hmm. That shouldn't you, you you can't have that happen, but I would not actually be that outraged. Whereas Kim Mulkey, <laughs> did you see the butterflies blazer she was wearing? Now that's fucking outraged. That's that's, that's disgusting. Can I say something? Please. She sucks. She does suck. Just uh, sucks. oh, what about Caitlin Clark's dad just getting on her ass? That was awesome. Yeah, that was very relatable for. Uh, yeah, I don't even have kids, and that was relatable for me the, as a parent. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I do that with my kids all the time. <laughs> Just yelling, shut up at your kids <laughs> from the crowd. Like, she's the biggest star in basketball right yeah. now, but you're never above just getting your your dad telling you, all right, just, all right, fucking stop. Yeah, I love that. I love that, like, he, she has so many fans that if you say anything that's even venturing towards criticism, yeah. they'll def- they'll say, you know, that's how dare you, and she's above reproach, and, of course, she gets frustrated and – it's because everyone's coming at her all the time whatever whatever and then we get a clip of the one man who loves her more than anyone else just like shut the fuck <laughs> you're fucking being, play ball you're being a whiny bitch Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah what a clip this is so funny she's talking to him right yeah yeah, yeah i don't he just says stop stop fucking god. stop and then he says, god damn god. god stop i don't i don't love it she's talking to her dad and during the game I don't love that, but that's okay. Uh, I don't love when yeah. I don't love when people do that. Speaking of, uh, you see Mark Sears' mom doing the free throw routine. <laughs> <sighs> I think we got to stop showing. What fans. about old Bill Titus? I'm sure that motherfucker had something to say when you were playing basketball. 
My dad? Mm Mm-hmm. No, he didn't. Actually. I've been trying to start a feud with your dad for a while. Oh, yeah. I don't know. If, just you have to. Is that why you're pro Zach? Is that why you brought up the? <laughs> I'm, just trying Zach to, Eady? I'm trying. That's to, the only way to start a feud with my dad is be like, I think Zach Eady is the greatest basketball player I've ever this seen. This Purdue ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the easiest way to do it. Um, yeah, we see. We I, I'm I'm I think I'm out on just all family members. I think I'm out on all family members. <laughs> you know the worst family member I, ever in a crowd was. Who? You're gonna be shocked. It was Kim Mulkey. <laughs> Remember when her son was in the College World Series? And they kept – you probably didn't watch College World Series then. I, I, not a lot of people did. But uh, he played for LSU. Uh, Kramer Robertson was his name. And they just kept showing her and kept showing her and kept showing her. And I was like, she might suck. <laughs> and then she got the LSU job, and I, and then I realized, no, she does, she does in fact. But she – I think she was the one that turned me against crowd shots because mm-hmm. it was constant. And she wasn't – like – like, if you're an LSU baseball player and you're in the College World Series, your mom being Baylor's basketball coach isn't that famous. Yeah. It's not like uh, I need a shot every single second. Yeah. And it was that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm i finding myself – I don't get that upset, but I just uh, – you do get slightly annoyed when at the parents, I think, and the, the, the families in general. I think we get one shot of the parents. I think, like – One opportunity. I, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I don't. I know. I'm just. I'm just trying to get to 10:30 <laughs> when I can leave. Just leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to squeeze out the clock here. We have a breaking NFL change news. Well, um, you didn't do the breaking news music. Eh, it's not that. <laughs> or maybe it is. I don't know. The NFL has banned hip drop tackles. Mm. All right. That's fine. People are freaking out about. That's it. very stupid. That is. That seems. How? Oh. My only problem with that is why just I, I don't get it. The hip drop tackle itself, when you see one a uh, textbook, when you're like, okay, I get why that's a problem. But there's going to be a lot of tackles that look like hip drop. That's what tackles. I'm saying. Like, how do you how uh, do you and, actually enforce? And it? in real time, how are you going to do that? Yeah. Defenses are fucked. How are? So you have to like keep moving with the guy while you tackle. Him. Like if I, you're running a guy down from behind, you can't just grab and drop. You have to like run with him. I, I have no idea. Like if you jump on someone from behind on their hips to try to tackle them, is that a hip drop tackle? If you dr- grab, drop, dead yeah, weight? Yeah, I think it would be, yeah. That's, uh, that's what I don't understand. Like, it, it just sounds like they're banning well, uh, it's a, a lot it's of tackles. It's a correction to this year where it did feel like defenses were better this year, right? Like, wasn't this a a thing this I year? I think it was a defensive. Like, de- it was yeah, a defensive more year. defensive than offense. And they're like, we got to fix this. We got to – we got to give power back to the offenses, I guess. Um, yeah, that, it sucks to be a def- – you all right over there? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. John Rich is, gave me rundown topics, and I said, I'm going home. Can you get somebody else to host? Sorry, sorry. So you're not on the – What? Okay. You told me to go home. No. <laughs> you told me to go home. I just got – that was that the finesse you pulled on this rundown – was was you told me to go incredible. home yesterday you came up to me at like 9 45 p.m and i got and you were involved. like yeah. hey nick and i need someone to fill in for the rundown i know you're running on fumes from yeah. the ncaa tournament yeah i know I, I know you're dying and i did it on and stream, i know so i did it on stream uh, yeah. so you couldn't say no and i know you just <laughs> want to go to sleep uh but will you fill in for the rundown and i was yeah. like without hesitation i was like yeah mm-hmm. i'll do it brandon you know what i'll do for you i'll do it i'll step up and do it and uh and now you're not even doing it. But I also don't want you to do it because you're just going to sneeze and cough in my face the whole time. So so now we're in a catch-22. Now we're in a catch-22. But, uh, yeah. Uh, golf, hockey, tennis, baseball. What's going on? Boys. Um, floor's open. Give me in something. the world of, of dick riding, um, the refs are dick riding Wemby according to Bull Bull. That's not golf, hockey, tennis, or baseball. That's the world of dick riding. The, uh, the world of t- <laughs> the sport of dick riding. <laughs> Uh, Brandon, as the dick riding expert, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. do you think the refs are dick riding Wemby, or do you think uh, I haven't watched Wemby close he, enough to did think? Did Bull Bull say the phrase "dick riding"? He was caught in a hot mic saying it. He said "dick riding." Yeah, <laughs> dick riding, bro. Come on, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, Bull Bull rocks. Does Bull Bull have a rivalry with Wemby Yama, or is it just that Shaq said? Was it Shaq? Who was it on on TNT that said Bull Bull 
was Wimbin is just as good as Wimbin Yama. I don't remember that. I think it's Shaq. This is like an ongoing thing that apparently I'm the only one that knows about. Yeah. Um, so now I'll look that up. <laughs> it, I think it. Thought that was a thought common that was a refrain common thing for... that we all <laughs> do. But it was Shaq. It was <laughs> Shaq compared Bull Bull to Victor Wembanyama. Yeah, and he's been doing it like over and over. He's like Bull Bull is like I'm not impressed with Wembanyama. Damn, Connor, already, you looked that up fast, man. The we've already seen. Crazy. We've already seen Bull Bull. Yeah. Y'all dick riding, bro. I get it. It's a great uh, quote card. Yeah. Dick riding is a phrase that's just come out recently, and it's. Yeah, pretty good. Do d- did he get a tech for this? Did he? Um, I don't. I don't think he got teed up for it. I think it was just just yapping. Has this replaced like um, like dick sucking is now your dick riding? Because it used to be like you're sucking dick or whatever. Yeah, and you're dick riding. Yeah, I think dick riding is 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 the new dick sucking. Yeah, on we're it. moving past head as a yeah. society. Yeah, and we're on to just dick riding. You're just riding it now. Just riding it. Now. Yeah, meat riding, dick riding. Doing tricks on the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Doing tricks on the tip. All right. Okay. Uh, you see, th- you see the, uh, you've seen it before, I'm sure. The old clip of uh, was it was Jordan on the Wizards, right? The um, maybe he wasn't on the Wizards, but but the the ref that's like, I believe you, Michael. Just, I believe you, Michael. <laughs> yeah. I believe you. Michael. I love that over clip. Over. Yeah. I love that clip. That's <laughs> incredible. Michael, he didn't have two hands on it. Michael, Michael, Michael yeah, I believe. Yeah, you. He did. Oh, oh, oh I okay. You, Michael. <laughs> Oh, I love that fucking clip because he, he like walks up to him too. Speaking of refs, dick riding players, uh, I can't get enough of that. Every time I watch it, I just laugh. And... That was making the rounds this weekend. Yeah, yeah. What for? What? The, or is that, I think it was, was Zach Eady. Yeah. 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 Oh, because the Eady. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's why I. I, I, I didn't see it, Michael. But if you say yeah. it, I believe you. Michael, I didn't see two hands on it, Michael. But I believe you. I saw one. I saw one. hand on it. It's the walk up for me. <laughs> but I believe you. What did uh, you say, Michael? Whatever you say. Twin Peaks is your tournament headquarters for every game. Watch with scratch eats like sauce and toss wings, hand smashed burgers, and flatbreads. The Lodge has the coldest beer in the game at a frosty 29 degrees. Ball out with handcrafted cocktails and Grandpa's stash of high end bottles. Every seat's got scenic views with wall to wall TVs and undefeated service from the Twin Peaks girls. Get your axe to the Lodge for scenic views of every game, all tournament long, at the number one sports bar in America, Twin Peaks. Mm-hmm. Um, that was a good ad read. Thank you. Uh, what I write? Yeah, I have a question for the room. Uh, golf, hockey, baseball, tennis. What's going on in any of those? Um, golf, hockey, baseball, tennis. Um, IceCon. Yeah, IceCon. Okay. All right. Uh, there was also another football story. Golf. Hockey, baseball, tennis. Golf, hockey, baseball, tennis. Golf, hockey, tennis. I Google all four of those. Um, right we Brandon, do this segment. You, you we do this segment every day. <laughs> this is, Golf, hockey, baseball, tennis. This is a staple on the show, and we're not prepared for it. Uh, Brandon Woodruff out all of 2024 with an arm injury. Okay. The pitcher? Yeah. Mississippi State? Mm-hmm. God damn it. We'll be up. back in 2025. Jackson Google. Holiday does not make the opening day roster for Baltimore Orioles, but Wyatt Langford does. If he's not making their right. opening day roster, can he make ours? Can we bring Jackson Holiday in here? I... Maybe maybe we get RDT on the line. He's in one of these boxes. <laughs> if Jackson Holiday's in one of these boxes, that'd be cool. Okay. Yeah. That would, Jack, Jackson be... Holiday is the ref. There we go. This is what I want. Now we're <laughs> talking, TJ. You get it. Golf, hockey, tennis, baseball. Give it to me. I need it. There it is. Uh, That's not in the right order. Do fuck Mary Kill and then uh, whatever the fourth option is with these guys. No, that's gonna be our that's gonna be our fuck Mary Kill. It's gonna be golf, hockey, tennis, baseball. I'm fucking the hockey puck. <laughs> no, I'm golf. I'm I'm golf. Uh, I'm marrying. I'm kissing that baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to make a prediction on if the baseball is gonna be juiced or not juiced this year? Um, is it is what's the rhyme or reason to when it's juiced and when it's not? I don't. Know, I feel like the odd years have been juiced and the even years have been not juiced. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we're we're due for a not juiced. Yeah, it feels like a not juiced to reset the expectations. So next year when they juice it, they're it, it feels like something crazy is going on. Holy shit, they're they're mashing home runs now. Remember when they juiced Aaron Judge's balls mm-hmm. and then admitted it in the off season, and then yeah. that was never a th- story. Yeah, not MLB a big deal, just cause... like. Yeah, like in 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 the win- in like December, a story drops that it was like, yeah, for the last two months of the season, they were using special balls for Aaron Judge. Yeah, <laughs> there well, there's like, like an, an oh, that's cool. <laughs> there's an entire group of people who have just been like getting game used balls 
like the authenticated, <laughs> authenticated game used balls and then going back and testing them in like batting cages. Oh, really? Like that's how they, uh, like an independent group discovered the juice balls from whatever year it was, 2019 or 2021, because they got balls from before the All-Star break and after the All-Star break and they were independently testing them. Wow. Which is kind of insane. insane well, those person people kind of seem like nerds too. That's that's a nerdy thing to do, isn't it? Yeah, they get yeah. Why don't they just juice the balls? Why don't they make the it's whole the ball, ball out of juice? Home runs rock. Yeah. Right? Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Folks. When you're right, you're right. Oh, brother, what's better, a home right run now. or not a home run? He's I would spit. say a home run is better. Yeah. If but, every hit was a home run. I don't know. Run. You're kind of dick riding right now. Dick riding for home runs? Um, Connor, did you Google the words golf, hockey, baseball, tennis? Yes. Uh, I got a place over on Diversity Parkway that's play golf and tennis. <laughs> so right. we, we could go there do and, it right now. and play golf and tennis. We could, just go, we could go play golf or tennis right Maybe now. Maybe go past the advertisements. Um, <laughs> there's a, an amazing tennis ice hockey crossover video on Facebook. Oh. What is it? I'll look at it right now. <laughs> oh, this is pretty good. How do you know it's amazing? This is pretty good. Okay, I'll send it to TJ. Excellent. I can't wait to see this. This is cool, actually. We got to remember what I had: golf, hockey, tennis, baseball. Golf, hockey, tennis, baseball. No, no baseball. No, no, no. There's no baseball. Baseball, tennis. Golf, hockey, baseball, tennis. No, 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 no. The segment is called golf, hockey, baseball, tennis. Golf, hockey, baseball, tennis. Well, there's also no golf in this either. You guys ever play tennis, baseball? Yeah. It's way more fun than actual. Of course, yes. Which is just baseball with a tennis ball. Yeah, you go to the field and use a racket. Yeah. Oh, and you use a racket. Yeah. Yeah. We just use metal bats. And mm -hmm. What was the best ball to play baseball with? It was that little pink ball, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that little pink ball. Yeah. Are you ever going to handball or that blue ball? That that, uh, that thing will go a long way, too. The racket ball? Racket ball. Is that a racket ball or a handball? The blue one? It's the same ball? I think it's the same ball. Might be the same ball. And, and yeah, it's That like, thing will go three, yeah. three miles, yeah. Uh, okay. This is just... Tennis on, on a ice. patch of ice. Yeah, but it's impressive. Look, there's a good no, There's no hockey element to this at all. I'd argue ice that's... Skates. Oh, okay. But no, that's ice, yeah, they get moving. This is ice skating in tennis. This guy this falls down. They're wearing helmets. There's we no need, net. We need goals there behind There actually is a net. No, there's no there's net. Certain, there's no hockey net. No, we need goals behind them. Right. So you, you hit it past them and into the goal. Yes. That's the objective. But what if you hit it over the fence? Is that worth that's anything? Baseball. That's a home that's run. A home run. <laughs> Can you fight in this? Oh, there were... He's got fighting the tennis. Good poll, Connor. Good, good Facebook video. This I, I, I'm interested in this neighborhood. They really crammed this ice rink into this in this little yard. They're, yeah, they did. These these houses are these these are very will, small lots. I will say too, if uh, I I like to imagine the dad of at this house yeah. is is a big hockey guy and he's trying to raise his kids to be I don't think hockey you superstars. That. Yeah. Um, and he's like, we're going to put a hockey rink in the backyard, and my kids are going to be fucking prodigies at hockey. And then he just looks back, and his kids are playing tennis on ice, and he's like, God damn it. And you know they probably they probably tried every sport yeah, on that ice, too. Yeah. <laughs> they just, like, won't play hockey like like their dad wants them to. There's also another sport that's unrelated to golf, hockey, baseball, tennis, uh, called wrestle ball in Russia. Now, let's listen. Let's hear him out. I hear. I, 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 I want to I hear about We don't have to talk this. about it today. It's just like the disrespect for golf, hockey, baseball, tennis is alarming. I it, will say that's that. That's just where, where the, I, the one guy takes his shirt off and suplexes the guys, right? <sighs> We've seen that. It's We did that last week, didn't we? Basketball where, though, yeah, they will suplex. I just At any point, one person can declare wrestling and. Connor. All I want is golf, hockey. Mark is about to say tennis. four words to you, okay? Golf, hockey, baseball, tennis, Connor. And. Listen, I any other circumstance, I would be into this. Did you hear the four words? Yes. But this is neither golf, hockey, baseball, nor tennis. And and you're delivering this to my doorstep I, at a time when I want golf, hockey, baseball, tennis. I said we could talk about it tomorrow, but I wanted to at least put it on your radar. You did bring it up. Yeah, I, I did. And I, During I, golf, hockey, baseball, tennis. I take it back. That was wrong. Um, fun ball to use with a baseball bat is a golf ball. If you ever just, yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> just want to let one rip. Yeah. That would be. You ever done that? You never hit a golf ball with no, a baseball No, that would be bat? fun. I'm just imagining, like, playing backyard baseball with a golf ball. <laughs> yeah. All right, oh. home run. Uh, here we go. <laughs> like a huge bucket of balls, and you're just like, here's a soft pitch. Smash it. All right, so it's one-to-one. -one. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I guess you'd never get out of the top of the first, but you, you just. 
just keep bombing just home keeping runs bombs over and, over. Um, and also if you didn't hit a bomb and you hit like a line drive or a ground ball that you're hurting <laughs> just somebody <kill> yeah. the <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> you just kill uh all right i guess that's it i guess no see golf hockey needle. baseball tennis maybe we'll do it tomorrow what see this guy i yeah. did see this yeah tough tough that i think your wrestling career is over at that point I think it's good for him that his face is covered. Yeah. <laughs> Wrestling's wild. Oh, no, it's not. Wrestling is. <laughs> I mean, that's as beaten as a man's ever been. Oh, a Buckeye did that to him, too? I didn't realize that. Mm. I didn't realize that was. Uh, well, it, the the wrestling thing's over, right? The, the, all the Mar- national March championship Madness. Yeah. March Madness. Yeah. yeah. Penn State national That champions. was this weekend. Penn State. Oh, how about that? 11 of the last 13 they've won. Got a long history of uh, wrestling success, <laughs> don't you, at Penn State? Grappling. You do. I'm being serious. Penn State's one of the best. That's a very common statement he made. I'm also I'm getting a, a text. Right, I guess I guess I'll look that up on my yeah. own. But I, I'm, I'm under the impression that Penn State is one of the best. Uh, it's the, the it best, is. Yeah. Isn't you're like, in, you're out. One of the best. Uh, the best wrestling school. Yeah. yeah it's, it's amazing. It's the culture of that school. And then I'm also I'm getting a text from uh, Blake Veradovo saying that, that. Nobody knows who that is. That's how his last name is pronounced. I think I, that's how you say it. Who is I've that known person? him for a year and a half. I believe that's how you say it. Who is that person? He, he works for us. He works in graphics. He wanted to give a shout out to Michigan State for winning the big 10 tournament in hockey whatever i don't know why does that person believe they have i don't know shout out privilege? he texted me that and he why did like, you just give blake for the right to bow uh shout out privilege does he get barge privileges too now no no yeah because no. we I, talk- I don't like that precedent that was just set there what uh so so we're anybody, just letting anybody I, shout out i was now? trying to deflect away from you guys turning a, a great penn state story into i didn't do he said they have a good wrestling school and you how turned many, into something how many else. national championships has penn state won they're they're always 12. good 12 12 11 in the oh, last well, 13. Oh, sorry for 11. You've 12. won 11 of the last 13 national championships, and I say you have a great wrestling culture, that you're some of the best grapplers. Mm-hmm. The, the entire school is known for. Yeah. It's techniques. Wrestling. Just wrestling. Just getting getting out there. Is that it? Go behind. Can you, can you major or minor in wrestling there? That's <laughs> uh, more. Mm. This is this is why I brought oh, up the the text. Well, this Blake. is what this is what happens. When I got I got it in real time. I was like, this okay, is what I'm happens bring when it up. golf, hockey, baseball, tennis goes nowhere. You ruined golf, yeah. hockey, baseball, tennis. You, you, you got selfish. You me with golf, you hockey, got baseball, baseball, tennis. selfish during golf, hockey, baseball, tennis. What did we when we started the show in September? What did we say? We said the Monday after the first March Madness weekend, we're doing golf, hockey, baseball, tennis. Yep. And what did you say? You had months to prepare. For months. That. And you brought nothing. Speaking of which, uh, months to prepare for. How's the Star Wars uh, murder mystery coming? It's going to be great. How's the sandwich bracket? How's the sandwich bracket coming? Sandwich bracket, do we want to do it tomorrow? I don't know if I'll be here. Okay. What? Are you also doing candy? I, I, I can't Who's, promise anything. Yeah, we got candy coming up, too. When do we want candy to do, bars, sorry. When do we want to do sandwich bracket? Well, we got opening day tomorrow. Uh, Thursday, I mean. Yes. So yeah, rest we, up for... So sandwich tomorrow. Up. No, no, no. You, you rest up for Thursday. <laughs> Take you the, go home. Take you take take the rest of the week off. Because we didn't do it. You I'm trying, dude. I'm off. trying. I'm trying. You're, I woke up. It's a busy time of year for you. You're you're running on fumes. I got here at six twenty. I went I went to my nap room. <laughs> <laughs> Took a good two hour nap. <laughs> uh, all right. No, take take tomorrow off. Um. Yeah. All right. That's the show. Thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. Brandon may or may not be here. We'll um, see. We'll see. We may or may not do a sandwich bracket. I don't know. We may or may not do golf, hill, or hockey, tennis, baseball. Well, golf, hockey, hockey baseball, baseball, tennis. tennis. Yeah. I'll be prepared for both. Okay. All right. We'll see. You have to. You have to tune in tomorrow to see. <laughs> see you guys in. That's how Paul is done.
family, family.